Hey guys, Funky Music here. Just today I wanted to go over how to set my UI up. We're going to go from start to finish on this and uh, hopefully uh, walk you guys through how to set this up. So let's get to it. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the link um, that I'm at currently, which is down below in the uh, YouTube section. And this will bring up uh, my UI. Yay! You can click on new folder. Uh, add-ons this is also I don't really use the save variables anymore and I'm not sure they're even compatible anymore because of the old molten versus here so don't worry about downloading the save add-ons the thing that you really want to download and worry about when you do download is the add-ons folder so let's go ahead and you click on download direct download or save to my Dropbox up here I just you go ahead and do direct download once you find out where you've downloaded it to you're gonna to want to go to the add-ons folder and you want to find out where you have World of Warcraft installed at as well and you want to take your interface and just replace my add-ons with the add-ons folder that's currently in there. Now, real quick guys, if there's other add-ons that you like to use, I would suggest copying them to another thumb drive or another folder and just setting them off to the side for the minute. You do not want to have any of your add-ons um, in here. They, I get a lot of people who, funky, this won't work, that won't work. Well, shut all the add-ons off that didn't come with my pack um, before you go ahead and use it. So, you're going to take the add-ons folder put all the new add-ons that I have in here and here's all the whole list of them and you want to go ahead and go log into the game uh, I just got done uh, screwing around this character so let's back out we're gonna use uh, hopefully a character I do not have set up here today um, <laughs> let's go ahead and go to uh, Funky's Day let's go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead and set it up. This is everything, everything. Let's go ahead and enable all. So this will be what you get basically when you load in after getting this. There's a lot of things in here you won't need, so let's go ahead and go through the list. Bad Kitty, unless you're playing, this is, remind, remember, this is set up for Druid, although this add-on does work for every class. But if you're not playing a Druid, you won't need Bad Kitty, so let's go ahead and take that off. Auto Flood um, is what you use to spam global chat with, so if you need it or don't need it, let's leave it on for this, but just so you know, that's what that one does. Um, you're going to need most of these. I do use Chatter over Pratt. Click. Um, do, do, do. We won't need Enchantrix unless you're an Enchanter. Um, Vent Alert, yes. Feral by Night, again, is another um, Druid talent, that Druid only really uh, add-on. So, uh, and I use Bad Kitty over Feral by Night. They both essentially do the same thing. But just so you know what they are. Uh, I do not run Ice HUD. This is remember we're trying to get this exactly set up that I the way I have mine. I do not run Gladius, but uh, if you are going to PVP, go ahead and turn Gladius on. Uh, Gear score light, give me peace. I use peace, um, but if you're into somebody who likes to talk to a lot of people and accepts messages all the time, um, you you can configure that by backslash peace in game, or you can just turn it off here. Um, let's see. I do not recommend need to know. I well, I don't use it <laughs> rather. Um, Omen is your threat meter, um, on or off, up to you, and then Pratt will be the other one you have to shut off. Remember, we're trying to get this as close to possible as me. And if you're having issues with um, the game freaking out and crash, well, not crashing, but the um, add-ons crashing, it will not let you use your click mouse overs. You're going to go ahead and disable Swatter if uh, you're not worried about it, because once that game, once it crashes and it comes up with an error, all you have to do is reload the UI, and it'll be fine for the rest of the time you're playing. It won't keep crashing; it always just does it once, randomly. So Swatter on or off? For this one, we're just going to leave it on. Um, let's go ahead and enter the world. Mind you, this is this has not been set up in any way, shape, or form. So this is actually the first time this character is being logged into the game. I do believe. Yes. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is close out of this and hit install LEY. There's one add-on I did forget to shut off, uh, and I always forget to shut it off, and uh, that is um, Loot Council Light. Um, if you're doing Loot Council, you want to close out of that one. Um, this You definitely want to use this add-on. If not, just go ahead and disable it. Um, but uh, yeah, I forgot to turn that off. You're going to hit these little boxes when you first load in. Go ahead and just click, left click and drag these off the screen. You're not going to need them. Uh, the mini map will actually be this button up here, right there. You're going to want to click that button right there, and that'll disable or enable the mini map. This button right here will take off and put on the. This is where all your your character info, your spells and abilities, talents, uh, things like that are located. Um, let's go ahead and swap to my actual WoW here. Uh, there we go. And uh, in here, you're going to be able to see uh, this little world button over here will turn on. 
these nice little text blocks, as you can see, you right, kind of see it where this text block is red now behind it. Kind of just makes it look nice and cool and themed behind it. Um, this will actually show us your uh, omen right here. So, yeah. Let's go over some of the basics, though, um, when it comes to setting up my UI. Um, let's go ahead and go to Grid 2 Options. I get a lot of questions about this. Funky, what should I do about Grid 2? Now, you can play with a lot of stuff in here. The two things that I just want to go over that you should probably set up, and the way I, I exactly have it set up, you're going to go to Grid 2 when you type in the backslash, Grid 2, space, options, by the way. Um, set the 25 layout to by group of 25 pets. And then the status, you're going to open that up and go to low mana. This will actually should, I think it, when, it, when you first install it, it actually defaults to 0 0.7. You're going to change this to, um, I usually change it to 0 0.2. That way, this see how this little blue bar is around my character? It lets me know that... Uh, it, it, it'll be an indicator and in that uh, if I were to have mana that it might once I reach low mana this would turn it would turn this color this dark blue color around the frame to let me know that player is 20% or below mana um, I don't like to have it at 70 I think they defaulted at 75 or 70 percent that means the entire raid would be blue for the entire fight um, with these little blue rings I'd rather know who's desperately low on mana and not super high on mana um, so just something you want to change there Let's go ahead and look at um, FX options. Now, this is the cooldown and into internal cooldown tracker that I use. Um, you can also look at uh, spell timers. I do have it enabled here. If we can find a target dummy, maybe we can look at it. But uh, if you want to turn something on or off here, um, I would suggest turning Soulstone Tracker, disabling that, Shard Spy, and Summon Assistant. Those are generally just Warlock things. Uh, not anything that we're really going to be using, uh, just so you're aware of that. I think there might be... No, we. I don't think we can... Can we screw with these guys? I don't think we can, can we? No, there's no target dummies down here yet, because I'm not... I have just logged into the game, so... Uh, anyways, with the uh, spell timer, it'll default right above where you can see my runes right here. It'll default, and uh, every time I uh, use a spell, it'll actually track my diseases and tell me how much time is left on a disease before I need to refresh it. So, very important to have this. Um, it, it tracks everything. Um, if you are load this in on any character, if you're definitely a caster, um, probably a good idea to have a, some kind of spell timer. And like I said, there's tons of options. Pretty self-explanatory how you want to set it up. Um, but mostly the thing we're going to be dealing with today is the cooldown timer. So let's go ahead and enable that. But we want to unlock it so we can move it. This little lock unlock button. That's true for every single thing, even when it comes to um, the spell timer unlock. And you can move it so you can have it over here. That way it's out of your way or wherever you want it at. You can move it anywhere you want and just go ahead and hit uh, lock again and it will disappear. Same thing for this. Once you unlock it, you can move it. Mine's usually up here for the cooldown timer. So let's go ahead and lock it. Again, you could change you could change the time, the splash. the. You, there's so many things you can change on here. Make it however you with the bars, the bar font, anything you want to do to change it, by all means, play around with it and have fun. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into all that. I usually just leave them at the defaults, so not a big deal. Um, bartender, you guys see me use this a lot. Uh, make sure when you're using a bartender, I usually run four bars. Make sure that bar three is enabled. Bar four automatically defaults to always hide. You want to click off of that for whatever freaking reason, and make sure it's also enabled. So what I do is I'll move bar one, and everything I have set, we want to change the padding to every all of these to 11, and we want to make sure the scale's at 0.85 to make them all the same. So padding 11, padding 11, and I usually just run, like I said, I usually just run the first four, so 0.85, and you make sure you hit enter, or it won't save it. 0.85, enter, change the padding to 11. And then you just move this bar wherever you want it at. I usually tend to bring bar three next and uh, set it up there. So we got it right there, and then bar four, somewhere right in between here and bar three. Something like that. Go ahead and lock it up. Now, if you want to show your, shoot, show your stance as well, um, let's go ahead and go to bartender and go to stance bar. This is actually, you'll see it's on, but you're like, what the hell? Turn the, Make sure it, for whatever reason, they turn the visibility to always hide. Do not do that unless you know where your hotkey is. Um, so let's go ahead and move this out the way. Now you can see there's the stance. 
I usually lock my or move my stance bar to right right above here, so I can always keep an eye on it. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, a couple other things you're going to want to mess with: SCADA. Um, you could change the uh, you could change the the text, the what your how many lines, what you want to show. If you want another window, um, you can all do this. Just go ahead and hit Escape and hit Interface, and then go to Add-ons, and you're looking for SCADA. Here you can add another, create a window, enter the name for the new window, and you just hit enter, it'll create a new window. Like I made uh, the damage one, I have damage and scatter. Scatter is your default one, and then you can start naming ones after that. That way I can watch damage and uh, healing at the same time. Um, and also you can change uh, you can change the how many bars you want per, um, you know, for uh, scatter that you have open and stuff like that. We're not going to get into all that. You can customize that however you want. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, another one that I use is TipTac. I believe uh, there is. Yes, tip, it's just backslash TipTac. This shows. Um, let's go to the other uh, scene here so you can kind of see it better. This shows um, all, all kinds of information over here on the right. You can know, see where I can hover. I'm hovering over my grid. It'll show me. Um, buffs, debuffs, you can turn the buffs on, buffs off, it can, it can show you the gear score, it can show you talents, it can show you guild rank, your uh, what guild you're in, things like that, level, and you can change that all within here, you can mess with all the settings, again, pretty self-explanatory, I'm not going to get into it, uh, I just have a lot of my stuff set to default, and I just kind of anchor it where I want to have it anchored. Another thing that I get a lot of questions about is click. Um, so let's go ahead and go through what click is. It's a mouse over macro. You can also use it. Um, it doesn't have to be a mouse over, as in I can still click over here and still use it. Um, but let's go ahead and go to click. Will of the Forsaken. Let's you scroll over it and you just tap whatever button you want it to be bound to. So I usually bind a lot of my mouse stuff to this. So Will of the Forsaken is stack, uh, now bound to my middle mouse button. So if I use my middle mouse button, let's say I'm running along, I use my middle mouse button. Once I close out of this, it will proc. Let's see the Willow Forsaken so you guys can see it proc. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Oh, you do have to cover over yourself. You can also change that, by the way. Um, should not be doing that. Um, but you would hover over yourself, hit Will the Forsaken, and it automatically does it for you. Uh, puts it on cooldown. This is more of a healing thing than it really is a DPS thing, so this is actually a bad character to be showing you, you guys this on. Um... But this is essentially just a mouse over macro for everything for to do with grid. Um, and you can bind anything to it. I can bind all these buttons to whatever the heck I want. And then you can you can bind a shift. You can't bind passive skills. Okay, you can bind a shift left right click. Let's say if I want to use that for uh, uh, shift left click is icy touch. Whatever you want to use. Um, you can alt click it'll alt button five it just all depends where you how you want it set up i mean it, the possibilities are endless here um if you'd like to see how i set it up on my resto druid and what i'm using i'd be more than happy to show you in game um on what i how i have it set up so let's go ahead and do that just real quick just for shits and giggles um how i have it set up for my mouse over macro again this is more of a healing thing you want a macro, and let's see, it's gonna, it's freaking out because I have a uh, swatter turned off. Um, but let's go ahead and open, uh, wrong button. Let's go ahead and open click. This is when I have everything bound to on my click. Um, if you're looking to set it up exactly the same. Again, so if I shift right click, it's gonna regrowth on my, button five is my rejuve, and shift left click is life bloom. And middle mouse is wild growth. So, just something to, uh, Remember, if you guess if you weren't if you're playing Russell Druid, but pretty much that's it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, I will put the link to drop blocks down below. And uh, questions, comments, I'll be more than happy to try to answer them and help you get your UI set up. And uh, again, I want to be very clear: make sure that you disable your current add-ons or move them into another folder. And then one by one, you want to start putting them back in if you want to use those certain add-ons. Um, because it tends to really mess with things when you take my add-on pack and if you already have add-ons and then add it in there without uh, first doing it this way. So hopefully that helped out, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.